Hello, welcome to Ecoholics. We are going to discuss a past year question from Indian Economic Service. The question reads, for a monopolist, the demand curve is P is equal to 6 minus X square and marginal cost is 14 plus X. Find consumer surplus. So here we have the demand curve for the monopolist and also the marginal cost for the monopolist. We had to find the mathematical value of the consumer surplus. So we represent these values on a graph. The graph says that at the price here and the quantity here, we need to represent both the curves. So this is the price uh, this is the price line or we call this as the average revenue line this can be plotted on this graph by knowing what will be the value of price p at quantity 0 so here we will put p is equal to 6 minus 0 whole square and see that the price comes out to be 36 so the starting point here it will be marked as 36 from 36 there will be this curve that will be generated this is the average revenue curve we can also mark a similarly sloped marginal revenue curve now we've been given the marginal cost 14 plus x represents a straight line so we can take the liberty and mark the same here wherein 14 will be the intercept on the y-axis and we get this upward sloping marginal cost curve. We have to find the consumer surplus. The consumer surplus represents the point. Uh, firstly, what we have to do is we have to take or find out the value of the equilibrium for the monopolist. So for a monopolist, equilibrium is at marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost and at this value the monopolist finds out the quantity he will produce and with respect to the quantity that he produces there is a price that he will conform to so let us find the values of this quantity at mr is equal to mc and the price this portion here is the portion of consumer surplus which is left for the consumer not taken by the monopolist. So effectively, we have to find the area of this triangle represented by the intercept of the average revenue curve and the gap between the price that the consumer has to pay to the monopolist and the price he is willing to pay which is 36 at this given quantity Q. So here we have the equilibrium situation where an MR must equal MC but for finding out the MR we require the total revenue. Total revenue is the price into quantity that is produced by the monopolist. So we have quantity multiplied by the price given in the question itself. So we get total revenue as x cube 36 plus x square minus 12x multiplying it with x we get x cube minus 12x square plus 36x from this total revenue we can find out the marginal revenue mr comes out to be 3x square minus 24x plus 36. At equilibrium, this marginal revenue must equal the marginal cost. So, the marginal cost was given at 14 plus x. Now we have mr is equal to mc and let's solve for the value of x. We have 3x square minus 25x plus 22 is equal to 0. 
Now, solving this equation, we get 3x square minus 3x minus 22x plus 22 is equal to 0. Or effectively, we can say 3x x minus 1 minus 22 x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, we get 3x minus 22 multiplied by x minus 1 equal to 0. Or the value of x comes out to be 22 by 3 or 1. So, from this numerical, we get two values of x. How do we understand which value is acceptable and which value we drop? So, we have two methods. The first method is to go for the second order de derivative of the total revenue and find out which value leads to a maxima or a minima. Second method is to find out out of uh, both the uh, values which value is giving the highest uh, profits. We'll go for the first method. So here we have the first order derivation of the total revenue. We find the second order derivative here. So we get 6x minus 24. Now we will put the values of x at 1 and also at 22 by 3 and see whether there is a maxima or a minima. Putting the value of x as 1, we get 6 minus 24, which is equal to minus 18. So we can see that the second order derivative is negative. This means that this value of 1 is acceptable to us. Here, the profits of the monopolist will be maximized. Now, if we follow the same approach and put the value of x as equal to 22 by 3, we get 44 minus 24, which is 20 which is a positive value. This means that here, the value of the monopolist will not be accepted or, or maximized. So here, we will not be taking, the monopolist will not be producing at 22 by 3. The monopolist will choose to produce at the quantity 1. So we can put the value of the quantity produced in the chart or, or the diagram that we just did or directly find out the value of consumer surplus. The value of consumer surplus is half into base into height of the triangle. The base of the triangle is the quantity that the monopolist will produce, which is one. And the height of the triangle was 36 minus the equilibrium price, which was P is equal to 6 minus X whole square, putting the value of X as 1, we get 5 square or 25. So the price is 25. Effectively, this is the marginal cost, this is the marginal revenue. This is the average revenue and the value here is 36 and the price here is 25. Quantity here is 1. The area of this triangle which is representing the consumer surplus is half into base which is 1 and 36 minus 25, which is 11. So we have 11 by 2 or 5.5 as the consumer surplus for the monopolist. So this is how we will solve any question pertaining to consumer surplus. 
We hope you like our channel. Please like, share and subscribe to Ecoholics. Have a good day.